Reimu Hakure, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought of. She can fly without assistance, exterminate yokai in a flash, and best of all, she's red colored and knows how to handle the females. Speaking of females, the Tall Universe might also be classified as Hot Chick Kevin, because they're such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it will make you love the franchise even more. And since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female tall characters. Grab yourself a snack and a glass of apple juice, and try not to reach to the screen because here we go! Number 10. Try this question on for size. Who chases and hugs Rainbow all the time and wields a powerful Hakuro? Why, it's Marisa Kirisama, of course. Though more cutie than a hottie, you can't deny the fact that she's still attractive. Two things that make her attractive is the fact that she wears a dress, and when have you ever seen one big very sharp arc on the top of her witch hat on her head? I haven't. So once again, Marisa Kirisama is lovely, that is, until she goes berserk and stabs you with her master spark. Who's at number 9? It's the alien rabbit girl from a distant moon, Raisin Odogin Inaba from the Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom. She arrives on the character's planet to deliver a message saying that the galaxy was under attack by Junko's force called the Purification. She doesn't do much except tell people to stop fighting and focus on the real matter at hand. The real reason she lands at the number 9 spot is that she becomes Tewi Inaba's sweetheart, something Tewi needed for a long while. Numero 8 the mother of all Gensokyo, Yukari Akumo. She's attractive and the size of an average human mother. What really surprises me about her is that she has a Shikigami, Ron, that she beats up every so often. Kinda silly, don't you think? She's another character that doesn't do much, but in the ending of the Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom with Maurice's point device campaign, she could be seen congratulating her for saving the Lunar Capital. What number's next? Seven, of course. Nitori Kawashira from Tall Fujiroku, Mountain of Faith. People always root for the good guys, but sometimes, the obscure guys steal the show. Her mechanical IQ is equivalent to Albert Einstein. She also happens to be the smartest member of her species, the Kappa. I wonder why she isn't leader. Like Rika, her specialty is creating various machines for fun, like a backpack with mechanical arms. With an iconic key extending from her shoulder to her chest, Nitori will rock your socks. If only we could see her build a machine. Numero 6 Soika Ibuki from Immaterial and Missing Power. Named coincidentally after watermelons, Soika is an Oni that comes from the Yokai Mountains as one of the four divas. She's yet another character that does hardly anything except party, party, and party. Even to a point where she manipulates the people in Soika to continuously party so that she can drink more alcohol with her Oni friends. When you're an extremely powerful drunk Oni, you need to look your best, and Soika delivers perfectly with her hot horns. That's why she's number 6. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5! Ah, ah, ah. Watatsuki no Toyohime from Silent Sinner and Blue Manga. How can you go wrong with a girl that looks like this? She can run nearly as fast as I with her teleportation ability, and she went from being a regular Lunarian to being General of the Army. Next to Princess Kaguya, she looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone with long, smooth white hair? This female standing at number 4. Moko no Fujiwara. Two words, immortal pyrokinesis. How would you like to have someone with that superpower? I mean, Moko could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would be perfectly fine. Also, baggy overalls that make her look like a Wario character. I really like the fact that her love interest is an immortal princess, Kaguya Horaisan. The combination of immortality both makes these two a reliable couple. But what really lands Moko in the number 4 spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. Next up is number 3. What's better than having a female with magic powers? How about a female with magic powers and is a true magician? Alice Margatroyd, a famous character from Perfect Tree Blossom, has that trait. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a magician, and even has a rivalry for Marisa. She's also the girl of Marisa's dreams. <laughs> Lucky her. Her appearance in the Cookie Dolgens are also just downright hot. Just look at that dress! Now we're talking! One, two, but my shoe! Komachi Onozuka. There is a lot to say about this character. She's the assistant to Eiki Shiki, Eiki's first official romance, the only character to have a big boat, brave, athletic, the most humanoid character, and is like the mother to the residents of Gensokyo. In the video game Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, one character, the cowardly Tenshi Hinanoi, constantly tries to woo Komachi, but doesn't succeed because Komachi knows that she's a show-off. 
The Shinigami is also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest. Although there were a couple of times where she usually snapped and acted like a lunatic, in the manga that is, but overall, Komachi Onozuka really stands out among the slew of females, not just because she's Aiki's first official love interest, or because she's the only one who uses a boat, but because in the video games, she has a large scythe that she uses as a large weapon. So, you've seen a pyrokinetic immortal girl, a kappa, two magicians, and even a military general. Who could possibly talk those kinds of females? Well, get ready folks, this is the number one hottest Taha Project female character. Ramelia Scarlet. If anyone denies it, how dare you? This woman can fly, she's as strong as Marisa and is a femme fatale, seducing other characters and getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two, Sakuya Izayoi and Patchouli Knowledge. Being a Scarlet Devil, she's only interested in one thing, her mansion, and specifically Comacon. There's actually been situations where Amelia's cleavage had been exposed, but it eventually got censored. What a price to pay. I think the best part about this beauty is that she has bat wings unlike other female characters, and who wouldn't want to fly across the landscape via strong as Sean Johnson and flirt around with any female, anytime, anywhere. These three traits make Bromelia's triumph over all the Tunnel Project females. My hat goes off to you, Team Shanghai Alice. You ought to be proud. There you have it, folks. Those were the hottest female chicks in the Toho universe. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy April Fools Valentine's Day, and I'll see you later. Here we go!